Folks, you can see these little green bucanists. Okay, they're called the bucanists. Um, if anyone's spending any extra time there, there's a very good restaurant that people don't really know about, just here on the left-hand side. It's called La Bucanist. It's a Guy Savoy restaurant. Guy Savoy holds three Michelin stars, yet he wanted to make it affordable for his younger chefs to go and learn there. Very good, about 80 euros for a tasting menu. And uh, that's good for Michelin stars. Now, the man on the horse over here, folks, the bridge going across, Pont Neuf, the oldest bridge, the, na the newest name. The man on that horse is called Duvaux Galant, the gay old spark. He resides over that park right there, Lover's Park, which you're going to see on the cruise. Lots of people sitting down there eating baguettes, drinking wine, uh, snogging frogs, kissing each other. <laughs> the man called Le De Vert Gallant, the gay old spark, had 53 mistresses and three wives. Very gay, very happy in those days, okay? Yeah. Left hand side, the Institut de Paris. The Institut de France, this is where French language is kept French by 40 men entrusted to keep their language pure, known as the Immortals. A little bit of fanfare around them. Now, now look on your right hand side folks, see that enormous building with a mud roof. 843 meters along the river, almost one kilometer. That is the Louvre, as I said. So if you think that you can do it in one day, to see it all, three levels, 10 miles of galleries, it's incredible. It was a 12th century fortress. It became a royal palace. It grew out of becoming a royal palace because Louis XIV didn't think it was big enough. So he sent the state bankrupt by building the side. Now, as I told you about Louis XIII, two years of age, folks, he was appointed a cardinal, Cardinal Richelieu.